Each student is given a pencil and two pieces of paper containing the list of names for each office. You circle the name you want to vote for, then drop the paper into a box. For president, I will vote for... Suki. Yeah. She has no idea what she's doing. Treasure, I'll vote for Ellen. Right, that's that. So how do you know someone's not going to cheat with one of these spells? I don't know. Maybe they're magic proof. Or maybe they can just check them after the... When they go to count them up, then they check to make sure they haven't been altered or whatever. Yeah, probably. I'm sure the teachers count them up instead of students. Well, I mean, the students couldn't, like, well, change check. it as they as someone walks by, you know, slightly. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they check that. After all the votes are counted, we assemble again in the gym for the results. If not, to the dungeons! <laughs> <laughs> the um, position for freshman class treasure will be held by... Ellen Middleton. Yay! I'm applauding. <laughs> she did it! And I'm proud to announce that this year's freshman class president will be... Nitty Koran. So she doesn't... Whoever we vote for doesn't automatically win. Oh well. I tried, Suki. I tried. I'd like to thank you all for your hard work this week. You students are what makes this academy truly great. So now I'm thinking of that whole, like, go ahead, throw your vote away. Because <laughs> obviously nobody really wanted to vote for Suki. The teachers will be seeking out the newly elected officers later today to discuss their positions. Or it's like, uh, later on, some people knock on her door and it's like a bunch of toughs with a baseball bat and they're like, so, uh, we heard some people in this room didn't vote for Minnie. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're not getting protection. And then they just walk away. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I was thinking, like... They just, stop, they just stop at another door and said, you voted for her. We'll protect your door. From poop. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Drop the package now. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I still love that whole, like, oh, it fell on the podium. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Oops, it fell in the pie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that music again. Today we find a bag full of noses. <laughs> yeah. I stir from my sleep. That's the next test, Tim. <laughs> What's going on? I heard a nose. noise. I heard a nose. Yes. I heard a noise. Is Virginia babbling again? Someone's moving around. Oh, Helen's stealing things. I don't yep. know. What's she doing up this early? Gathering the skirts of her robe, she tiptoes out of the room. Weird, but I'm too sleepy to follow. When Virginia and I get up in the morning, our allowances are here, but Ellen still isn't. Do you know what's up with Ellen? She snuck out of the room really early this morning. Probably just treasure or stuff. That early. The crack of dawn on a Saturday? Why do you think I didn't want the job? Hmm. So what should I do today? Uh... Look at another store or study? I say study. Alright. Success! Yeah. And next time we should probably look at another spot in the mall. Yeah. We can alternate, maybe. Yeah. Two since, studies, one check. Since sleeping gets rid of so much freaking stress, it's not that bad. It's Sunday, and the sports club is having a meeting. Or rather, a game. Virginia's got the ball and is dribbling it across the floor toward Ellen at the goal. Keo cuts in to try and steal, but Virginia sidesteps! A twist, a lunge, a swift kick, and the ball <laughs> flies to the air! Magic! Uh, who's gonna do Jacob? Uh, I, I don't I care. Guess, I guess I will. You sure? Sure. You're doing a lot already. I don't care if I pick up another one. What are you guys doing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ellen's head whips around to track the voice of her recent rival, and the ball slips past her and into the goal zone. With a grimace, she goes to pick it up. This is a sports club meeting. What are you doing here? Maybe I want to play. I'm fit guy, right? <laughs> Fine, whatever. Yay! All right! <laughs> My mommy's gonna be so proud. He closes his eyes briefly and a wave of green magic sweeps over him. 
know what that was about. I'm magical. Hey, you can't do that. Do what? No magic allowed. What are you guys talking about? We're wizards. I guess maybe he was making himself stronger. Well, maybe he was preparing to grab the ball or something. I don't know. I don't know. This is real sports, not bounders. Uh. What I I, is that? He's just got really big eyes. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know what that is. That's me talking. That's his voice. It's a he? I'm saying it's a he because I don't see boobs. <laughs> and he's got a... Got that manly chin. True, over true. Here. But his eyes are so big. I don't know if it's a man or not. That's why I gave him a weird voice. <laughs> this is... This one's saying you guys refuse to use magic. What's the point of that? <laughs> This one. Well, well, that's how we've been doing in sports club. That's just wrong. It's unnatural. You're letting your talents go to waste. You know, if I could do it, I would try to talk like that guy, like the guy who played Barney and Andy Griffith. Oh, yes. Like, cause I'm, I'm like, that's how he should talk, but I can't do it. Uh. Come on, it'll be fun. You want to show off your skills, don't you? Who's for flying basketball? Get this douche out of here. Yeah. No! There's no magic allowed in sports club. Maybe we should take a vote on it. You're with me, right, Kyle? Your gorgeous eyes. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and then he flushes. Traitor! <laughs> Rain. No. No magic allowed. I don't think it's a good idea. We're only freshmen, but we've got players from all four years, and we all know completely different spells. Yeah, seriously, guys. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, me neither. I thought it was just a freshman class or uh, club. Yeah. I couldn't play flying basketball. I can't fly. There. See? Without magic, they're... They're just kiddie games. Why would? Why should we have to hold back from the best we can do? It's supposed to test your strength and stamina, not your magic. Magic. Yeah, we should be real. Real losers. Virginia. Um. Ah, it's you. It was you. you. I thought that was gonna be you. I was gonna be like, read, <laughs> she read that, that guy all the way. Yeah. Show because it's the rules. <laughs> this is my spot of the screen, jackass. Only three people at a time. Yeah. People without magic still have to hold back. You don't pick up the ball in soccer. You don't beat up the other team to stop them from reaching the goal. Do you? You do your best within the rules. That's good sportsmanship. Jacob just snorts at this. Maybe we could have a special game sometimes with spells allowed, but only certain spells, so it's fair. Eh, I guess. Ellen looks at Jacob. Do you still want to play? Call me when... <clears throat> I've got his voice. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> you were going, like, kind of weaselly, but, like, snotty. I don't know. Call me when you want to play a real game. Close enough. You started to get it back there at the end. Yeah. He leaves. That's Fire boy, is. so That's rude. It's Sorry. It's yeah. Um. Actually, you... like, oh. I, I was watching some people do a playthrough of Phoenix Wright, and they had to keep being like, "Oh man, it's been so long since I did the voice. How do I get it back?" <laughs> yeah, and they were just, just trying to say like, random stuff to get their influence. Like, like I watch the Yogg's cast people, and they they bump into that problem all the time. <laughs> so like. Some people, like half people, sometimes just have one voice, yeah. which is the main voice that they have. Yeah, and, like that's why I wanted the default character to just be me, <laughs> maybe with yeah. the softer inflection, so it wasn't hard to remember. Yeah, and, and that makes sense. And I'm just using other voices that I've used, but I, like some of them I just forgot how to do and stuff. Hey, at least I'll never forget Virginius. <laughs> <laughs> why are boys so rude? <laughs> What? No one will. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. <laughs> William isn't. Okay. Boys except William. <laughs> Sorry, I had to cough there at the end. 
better. I'm not rereading it. That's fine. I made it even better. <laughs> Come on, let's get back to the game. The only problem with that is that voice rips up my throat. So when I run out of water, I'll have to go get some more. <laughs> uh, all right, save time. Just tell me if you need a break or something to go grab something. Yeah, let's keep going. All right. This is a long one. Yeah, it's a good way to spend uh, Thursday afternoon. It's making me forget I'm hungry too. And now I remembered. <laughs> Wait, why is it Thanksgiving in October? What is this? I don't know. Maybe they'll explain that. Maybe. That or the guy screwed up his dates with the game. It was like, I know, shut up, shut up. It was my first game, shut up. Uh. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, uh. But it's Colum. Okay, Virginia's just an idiot. <laughs> no. It's not that day, not here. Why not? Okay. That guy caused a lot of trouble. We don't say his name. My fault. I should have told you guys earlier. The way the native people and the newcomers mixed out is a little different than it is for the non-magical history. All right. Well, that was weird. I had like bubbles. I don't know. We have strong ties is what my mom says. Sacred smoke tastes, or sacred smoke takes like a fourth of all the magical students in the U.S. And around here, the local spirits were dealing with them way before us. So a lot of our rituals and celebrations come from them. So this is Thanksgiving. Now I'm wondering if Ellen's supposed to be Native American. Uh. -huh. I guess it, saying about natives doesn't necessarily mean Native American. This might mean like, I'm native to the USA, a magic user. I don't know. She did say she was American. I, I don't know, whatever. Who cares? You're a racist. No. <laughs> no, I was just wondering, like, she looks black, but she might not necessarily be one. Not really. I was kidding. Oh, dick. It's Canadian Thanksgiving. You're southern, so you don't notice it as much. Oh. What's a Canadian? <laughs> anyway, what should I do this week? Changing the subject. Avoid racism. <laughs> uh, let's, let's live dangerously and go in reverse this time. OMG. I'm a wild man. We're so close from getting that wand. Totally. Success. Awareness expands the caster's mind to visualize nearby locations, marking them known. Hmm. So, can help us if we're lost? Or help us remember where we've been? When we're going through unfamiliar places, maybe? Expands the caster's mind to visualize nearby locations, making them known. Oh, maybe it like, lets you kinda like see through walls? Like, oh, where's the bathroom? Over there. Yeah. Or like, I remember there was a chair back there beside the cafeteria or whatever so you have like you're making landmarks maybe kind of I guess continue uh, 